race fans, welcome to the new Smyrna Speedway. We are here for the Bright House Networks Challenge Series Super Late Model 100. We have 11 cars set to roll off the grid for 100 laps of racing. And here they go, starting with row number one. On the in, um, starting on the pole position in car number nine, that is Jeff Chiquette. And to his outside in the 20, the defending 2015 Super Late Model points champion for the New Smyrna Speedway, that is Anthony Sergi. Row two on the inside in the 9M machine, that's Brad May. And to his outside of the double zero, that's Anthony Cataldi. Moving back to the third row on the inside in the 07, it's former Florida Governor's Cup 200 winner Jeff Schofield. And on the outside of him in the 30D, that is Jesse Dottilli. Going back to the fourth row on the inside, another former Bright House Networks Challenge Series winner in car number 11, that is Dave. Ro that's David Rogers. And to his outside of the 36, he won this series last year, the defending winner of the Bright House Networks Challenge Series. It's Tim Russell. In the fifth row on the inside of the 21, it's Devin McLeod. And on the outside in the 30C, that's Noah Kornman. It's starting at the final position in that 59X. First time she's been here at the New Smyrna Speedway in a late model. Uh, we've seen her out here a few times in the trucks. That's Becca Monopoly. There are two drivers to definitely watch for in this race. The 20 of Sergi and the 36 of Russell. Now, the 20 of Anthony Sergi, I think this year could really shape up to be his year. Last year, every time they ran a 100 lapper at New Smyrna, he always found a way to get snake bit. However, he's starting on the outside of that front row, and this could really shape up to be his year. Another driver to definitely watch out for in this race is the 36 of Russell, the defending champion of this series. This is going to be a series of four 100-lap races that are going to be run at different points throughout the year here at New Smyrna. This is the first of those four. The next one is on June 30th. That's the Clyde Hart Memorial. Then in September 25th, it's going to be the Marion Edwards Memorial. And then on October 29th, it's going to be the fourth and final race in the series. We are making final preparations to begin this race as the flagman is now getting up in the stand, getting everything set. And the people who are standing on the track are going to clear off of it. Right now, we have uh, some crew. Right now, the track operations manager, Kim Brown, is down there. And we have some crew members on Jeff Chiquette's car, making sure everything is ready for that red number nine, sponsored by Jet Concrete. So the front row, I like to call it the solid row because both of those cars are sponsored by concrete companies. I can't be the only one who's noticed this. But, so you have the solid front to start this race off. And we are now, now Kim Brown, the track operation manager, she's talking to Jeff Schofield there in the 07. She's making sure everything's set to go. Here she comes. And now we are just going to be a few minutes away from starting this race. I like being up here with the spotters. I think this is actually really cool. Because when everything, everything starts going squirrely, it's, it's, it, they, they just start uh, making sure everything's going smoothly. They don't, wanna, they don't want any accidents to happen. And certainly with such a small field like this, you can't have a large wreck. We are just a few minutes away from getting this race underway. We're about to get this thing kicked off for a hundred laps of racing here. Drivers, start your engines. Eleven super late models. Roar to life here at the New Smyrna Speedway as they go rolling off the front stretch to get this race started. Or they're not rolling yet as they have to close the gate on the front stretch by the start-finish line. 
Now they're rolling. Jeff Chiquette on the pole, that red number nine car, Anthony Searchy. Some of these guys are taking a minute to get rolling. It seems the outside lane got rolling quicker than the inside. Now we'll just see how things are going to go. We'll just see how things are going to go. 100 laps, this race could get over pretty quickly here, but it depends. Is this race going... Now with 11 cars in this field, you, you have to make sure that there's no large wrecks and everybody's going to run clean. Now with this field, I see a very competitive race between all 11 of these cars. All 11 of these cars have top equipment and I think that this is going to be the one to be. As they go rolling down the ground the track, make sure everything is warmed up and ready to go for the next 100 laps. Now there is a 12th car that is actually being listed on my sheet, but he is not out here on the track. That is the 5K of Daniel King Jr. He was slated to go off in the 12th and final starting position, but he is not here on this field tonight. White House Challenge Series is about to get kicked off here in a few short pace laps. Once this thing gets done, we're going to start and this race is going to be quite the race to watch. Now, this race is going to have a hard time following up that sportsman feature. And I honestly got to say, I actually felt kind of bad for Derek Wood in that feature. I thought he had it. Also, the 30 and the 59X have very similar looking paint schemes. So, that's just one interesting thing I got to point out here. We're just going to run a few more laps of caution before we get set to go here for a hundred laps. go the one to go signal is coming out everybody's gonna double up as they go back through one and two this is going to be quite the race what's interesting though is that I actually thought the um, 21 car I thought that was actually MacLeod because I've heard uh, it pronounced like that before but it's McLeod here we go 11 super late models set to go over 100 laps here they come bunching up to three and four the Daytona Dodge pace car is going to pull off the racetrack. NASCAR official waves the green flag, and we are racing at New Smyrna. Side by side, they go barreling through one and two. Chiquette's going to get the lead away from Sergi. We're still stacked up two wide from third on back. Chiquette's going to have the lead. Side by side, it's going to be May and Cataldi. Oh, May and Cataldi make contact. It looks like Jeff Chiquette's going to lead lap one. Chiquette's going to lead one, still side by side. Some of these cars are scraping, it looks like. Cataldi goes pulling into third. Now side by side in the battle for the fourth spot, it's going to be May and Schofield. Side by side in that battle as they come back down the front straight away. It looks like Schofield's going to get away from Brad May. Brad May's going to have to tuck up back in line behind the 07 car. Right now, it's still in the early stages of this race. Nobody wants to ruin their equipment. Here comes Jesse Dottilli. Looks like he was going to try something. Here comes Cataldi and Double Zero is going to go up. Scopeville goes by on the inside. Scopeville is going to go by and get third. And he goes seventh car away from that Double Zero. So right now it's going to run Chiquette, Sergi, Scopeville, Cataldi, and May as her top five. As they come back down to complete lap number four. 96 laps remaining in tonight's race. And this is going to be a really good one here. And now this 
like I said, that 20 car was a car to watch. And the 36 car, he's going to wait for his move. Dave Rogers looks like he's going to try and pull up a little bit to him. Still early in the going. Now, one car, it's interesting to note here, that 59X of Becca Monopoly, that car is actually not set up for a half-mile track. Monopoly has that late model set up for the Showtime Speedway. That's actually a three-eighths of a mile down in Pinellas Park, Florida. And that's why she is running a few tenths of a second off the pace of the leaders. Here comes Brad May now in the 11. Looks like he's going to go to the inside of Russell. He's going to try and get a spot advancement. Battle for position off of two. Rogers is trying to get around Tim Russell. Can he do it? And he's going to do it. Rogers is going to get by Russell. A really good points game. But up front, it is still the red number nine of Jeff Chiquette. Anthony Sergi, the defending super late model points champion for the new Smyrna Speedway, a track champion. He's not going to get this one away. He's going to let Chiquette get away. He's going to try and reel that in as much as he can. Uh, Brett Schofield in the 07, he's going to try and get it in real close now. He's going to try. We still have Cataldi May and Tittle. Tittilli, my bad, I mispronounced his name in that white 30 car. Mispronounced his name there, my bad. So they're still there. There goes May to the inside of Cataldi. The nine car goes by the double zero. He's going to get the fourth spot. Ooh, a little bit of bump, and here comes Dutilli. Dutilli's going to get fourth. In one motion, he goes by Cataldi in May. And here comes Rogers to the inside of Cataldi. Here comes Russell now. We have these five cars in line right here. The 30 of Dutilli. We have the nine of May, the 11 of Rogers, the double zero of Cataldi, and the 36 of Russell. That was quite a move by Jesse Dutilli. Going by on the inside and getting by the nine of the double zero in one motion. Quite an amazing maneuver. Now those three cars up at the front, they've distanced themselves from that main group right there. They've distanced themselves a little bit. And we're going to see how long this distance plays out. So it's still Chiquette searching in Schofield. So the solid front row, those two cars that are sponsored by concrete companies, are still pretty solidly in first and second. So, really, I cannot be the only one who noticed that. Come on, people. Too bad I can't think of any good concrete puns we could use. I guess you could say it's rock hard to find a good concrete pun. Eh? Yeah, no, there's no reaction. My dad's standing right next to me. There's no reaction from him for my concrete puns. like Chiquette is trying to extend his lead a little bit, so it's either that or Schofield is just slowly closing in on that 20 car of Sergi. We'll see what happens. And Schofield looks like he's got Sergi in the corner. Down the front straight, we have a battle for second going on. A potential battle for second. Here comes Schofield. Schofield's going to go to the inside for second. He's right up there on that 20 car. Schofield going to try and go low. Schofield goes low. Out of turn number four, it's going to be Schofield and Searchy side by side for second. Schofield has second at the line. So Schofield takes second away from Searchy as they go back through one and two. Anthony Searchy not trying to be outdone. He's going to try and stay close to that 07 car as much as he can here. It looks like Dave Rogers has caught up to the nine. He's going to try to. Stay as close as possible there. Uh, Searchy, just trying to stay as close as he can. Now some of these guys, in this race, 100 laps, this is not the sprint that they're used to. Because here at New Smyrna, the normal feature for the Super Lates is 35 laps. They have to go over double the distance of this race tonight. Quite 
a challenge for those late model drivers here. As it appears that Jeff Chiquette in the Jet Concrete Special car number nine has extended his lead over that 07 car of Schofield. Let's take a look here at that gap here. There is the car number nine of Jeff Chiquette. And coming down here on the front stretch is the 59X of Becca Monopoly. Give it another few laps and he'll catch up to her, put a lap on her. So that's Chiquette there in the red number nine. And a look at the gap between him and that white and green number 07 of Jeff Schofield. That's a pretty decent sized gap. That's a pretty decent sized lead that Chiquette has opened up for himself. Here in the early stages of this race. Now, we are almost a quarter of the way done with this race. So give it another few laps. See, here's the 59 of Monopoly just coming out of turn four now. There's Chiquette. And at the crossing of the strike, we are a quarter of the way done with this race, folks. We're 25 laps in. And we're going to see if anything happens. And if, anything ha and if anybody has anything for this number nine of Chiquette, we'll just have to wait and see. One driver I'm definitely keeping my eye on to see if he makes any late race advances is definitely uh, the 11 of Rogers and the 9 of May. And I'm also going to try and keep a close eye on that 36 car, Tim Russell, as well. Because last year in these divisions, when they raced the 100 lappers at New Smyrna, he crushed everybody. This year, I don't know if it could be his year. This right here is a pretty big size gap that Chiquette has opened up. It's a huge one. A three-way battle here. Pretty sure there's going to be any late race to jostle for points. Give it another uh, lap, lap and a half, and Chiquette will be coming up to slow traffic. That slow traffic will be in the form of Becca Monopoly in the 59X machine. Already they're giving her the uh, you're too slow, the, the you're too slow flag. Monopoly actually is a really good truck racer. In fact, uh, she is, and right now she's going to get a lap put on her in this late model as they come off of four. So there's going to be some slow traffic to deal with. She's actually a, a really darn good truck driver because uh, I believe right now she is the leader in the points for the Southern Pro-Am Truck Series because she won their season opening event at the Orlando Speed World back in April. And that was so and that's so far the first event that they've run this year. And that's the only event they've run so far this year until June. So I actually did interview her and Anthony Sergi back in September, but I used my old camera, which had an omnidirectional microphone, so I picked up everything. And I had to throw those interviews out, but I am going to redo them later this year. So you finally get the interviews with Monopoly and Sergi there. And this is probably the first time I've seen those two drivers on the track at the same time. I've seen them on the track, but I haven't seen them on the track at the same time. That, so I'll be interviewing them soon later this year. Now, we're going to see if anybody has any for Chiquette. So far, it's all the Jeff Chiquette show in that red number nine. Oh, man. The next car he's going to catch is the 21 of Devin McLeod. So, in the next few laps, he might put another lap on that 21 car. McLeod just coming out of turn four now. Right now there's some pretty uh, sp spacing in that car. Now the 59 of Monopoly appears to be off the pace now. She is slowing down immensely over in turn number three. So the only question is can she make it back to pit road? And she does. Becca Monopoly is safely on pit road. There is going to be no caution flag. And it seems right now there's some pretty big spacings in the field between cars right now. Now it looks like Rogers is trying to get Dolitty 
in that 30 car. He's trying to get an advance in position. But I think uh, for the most part, this is what the finishing order is going to look like at the end of the season lap. Unless something happens. Unless something happens. Oh my, that's red number nine. Can can there be someone to stop him? Owen oh, Rogers is gonna work on Delitty here. Rogers in the 11 car is gonna go to the inside of the 30. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Delitty says no, and he's gonna pull away from Rogers. Rogers gonna go back to the inside of the 30. Gonna try again here. Not gonna happen. D9 and slide by slide they go. Uh, tonight again, Rogers will not get that gain on position. And the 36 car is in the pit. Oh, here comes Rogers to the inside again. Uh, he's not gonna get it, but they're still gonna go side by side as they go back through one and two. And Rogers is gonna get the position gain on Delity in the 30. And problems with the 36 car, Tim Russell, your defending Bright House Challenge Series champion, is in the garage area. The 36 car is in the pit. He is not going to finish this race. So Rogers got the point gain onto Liddy there. And so he moved up into the fourth spot. my eye here on that nine car of Brad May because it looks like he caught the 30 of Delitty and he might be trying to get a point battle quick it May to the inside May goes to the inside of Delitty in the nine May's gonna try and get by no not gonna happen here goes May again to the inside of Delitty he's gonna try that again that's not gonna happen he's not gonna he's gonna keep trying there that nine car he's gonna keep trying Keep trying. He's not gonna just give up that easy. Uh, here he goes to the inside again, and he's not gonna get it. And he's gonna get it as they go to three and four. Yes. No, is he? May clears Delity at the line. Point uh, position game for that nine, but the 30 is still gonna try and stay as close as he can, and the nine car is just gonna start pulling away. A little bit. Now your front four, there's some even spacing, but five, six, seven, they're running there in that line. So I'm gonna so I might keep an eye on those three cars. Uh, the nine of Brad May, the 30 of Jesse Delitti, and the double zero of Anthony Cataldi. I'm gonna keep an eye on them. Throughout this race. I'm gonna try and keep an eye on them. Cataldi. Here comes Cataldi now, might try and try and get a position gain on that 30 car. Give it another few laps, and Chiquette's gonna put another lap on another car. He's gonna put another lap on that, a lap on that 21 car. Now we are officially halfway through this race. We are on lap 50 of 100. We're halfway home, folks. And the main question as we go through the second half of this race, does anybody have anything for that nine of Jeff Chiquette? Does anybody have anything to catch him with? What do you think? Do you think anybody has anything to catch the nine? It doesn't seem so. I think the nine's going to keep going unless he gets caught up in a wreck. That was my dad, folks. And here comes Cataldi to the inside of the 30. Cataldi goes to the inside of that 30 car off of four. That didn't work out. And the double zero is going to try again off of two. He's going to try again off of two. Not going to happen. He's going to tuck right back up in line. He's going to try again as they come up with four. Uh, again, it's not going to happen. Anthony Cataldi is exploring 
every possible option he has to try and get around this 30 of Delity. And he is not trying. He is he is just not gonna do it. He's gonna try again. He's gonna try again on before. Delity's gonna get he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Sorry about that, folks. Something happened off camera. Now here comes the nine of Jaquette. We're gonna put a lap on Devin McLeod here in a little bit. As we run the halfway marker in this race. A lap got put on Devin McLeod in the 21 car by the 9. So, I don't think anybody has anything for Jeff Chiquette in that 9 car. Unless a miracle happens, that 9 car is going to go to the victory lane. Night at New Smyrna. What a showing for that nine car, just what a showing for him. Dave Rogers in the 11 is going to try and close it on Sergi in the 20. As uh, once we hit the strike, I think that's going to be 40 laps to go. Yep, 40 laps to go at the strike. Rogers is going to attempt to close in on Sergi. The 11 is going to attempt to close in on the 39. No, the 11 is going to attempt to close in on the 20. Did I actually say the 39? Whoops. Tonight, tonight, it's all been Jeff Chiquette. As I said, this 100 lap super late model race is going to was is going to be hard to top because blah, I misspoke. The sportsman race is going to be hard to top. This slave auto race is having a hard time trying to top that. Right now. I don't even know what to say. Rogers in the 11 is trying to close the gap in on the Sergi in the 20. Here they go down the front straightaway. Got it back to one and two. Rogers in the 11. He's going to go try to go to the inside of Sergi. He's going to try to battle for position as he's trying to close in. Here goes Rogers in the 11 to the inside of Sergi. Not going to happen. Sergi's going to close the door on him. They go back to three and four. Rogers going to try again. He's going to try and stay as close as he can to that 20. He's not going to let that 20 car get away from him. He's going to go to the inside again, but Sergi's got too much space on him. And I think Rogers lost his window to try and get around the 20. No, no, wait. Looks like Rogers is going to try and catch him here on the corner. And down the front straight again. Rogers is going to try and stay as close to that 20 inside again. Sergi goes a little bit up to the outside. So it looks like Rogers is going to try. He's going to keep trying. He's going to keep slowly working on that 11, that 20 car. Just keep slowly working on him. Keep slowly working on him. And we'll just see what happens. 
Here we go, inside Rogers. It's not gonna work. Here, Rogers the inside again. And let's see if this one will work this time. He's gonna go to the inside, try and get wheel to wheel with Sergi as they come off of two. He's running pretty close to that 20 car. And Rogers gonna try again in turn three. He's gonna move up, they make contact. The 11 and the 20 make contact. Dave Rogers got the spot away from Sergi. Now that was a battle for position. Now we're gonna see if Sergi's gonna retaliate here. We're, we're just gonna see if he is gonna try and get back at that 11 car. But first they have that slow car, the 21, and Devin McLeod to get around. I think if this race keeps going, then eventually that nine car of Chiquette is just gonna dart near a lap the whole field. If this race just keeps going. So right now, I'm not gonna try and keep my eye out for anything. We already put a lap on Noah Kornman. He's already a lap down. And I think for the most part, you're looking at the finishing order for this race. For the most part. I'm gonna try and keep an eye out for something happening. the 30 of Delity to the inside, the double zero of Cataldi now as they go back to one and two. And the 30 is going to try and get a spot away from the double zero. The 30 did. The 30 did pass the double zero. So that was another position change in this race. Now, we're gonna see what's gonna happen now with that nine. Up at the front. to go here in this race. Jeff Chiquette maintaining a really comfortable lead over the 07 of Jeff Schofield. Oh, we have a car in the wall! The 30 of Delaney went hard in the wall and the first caution in this race is gonna come out. That white number 30 car with all the sparks coming behind it. Hard crash in the wall. This is really going to shake things up because now Everybody else is going to catch up to the nine, and we're going to see what, and let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> like I said, racing is unpredictable. I did not expect this to happen. There's the 30 car on the pit lane. You can see where that car hit. In fact, just look at the damage on that thing, man. Look at the damage on that 30 car. You can see the wheel just flopping around as he goes pulling into his pit. And the 21 car, Devin McLeod, is also uh, pulling into his pit as well. Something must be wrong of the 21 car, McLeod. 18 laps remaining in tonight's 100-lap super late model race. 
who would have thought that a caution would have come out this late in the race? Everybody here felt that the nine of Jeff Jaquette was just going to cruise to an easy victory. But now everybody's bunched up and breathing down his neck. So we're just going to see if the nine car can hang on for the win tonight. So as they run, it's Jeff Chiquette in first, followed by Jeff Schofield in second, David Rogers in third, Anthony Sergi in fourth, Brad May in fifth, Anthony Cataldi, the double zero car, now in the pits. He was being scored in sixth. Noah Kornman's on the track in the 30 car. Uh, the drivers who are in the pits or out of the race right now, that is double zero, Anthony Cataldi in the pits, the 30 of Jesse Dolitti, the 21 of Devin McLeod, the 59X of Becca Monopoly, and the 36 of Tim Russell, all not on track at the time of this caution flag. Yeah, a late race caution that occurred. Gonna shake things up a little bit out here. Gonna shake things up. To go when they go green. I already said there's. So just remember, there's 18 to go when they go green. This is going to be uh, quite the showdown here, as they are going to give the wave around. As they are going to give here. Everybody's going to start doubling up now. Everybody's going to double up. Here comes Devin McLeod rejoining in the 21. The Cataldi's going to rejoin in the double zero. This is the last lap of caution before we go green. Jeff Chiquette is choosing the outside lane. That worked really well in the restarts for Derek Wood in the sportsman race. Let's see if that works well for him here in the super lates as McLeod and Cataldi rejoin the back. Green flags out. We're back racing. And whoa, here comes Sergi. Hard charging back into the second spot. And that nine car is just going to pull away again. But here comes everybody else trying to reel him in. So they come back to the line, 17 to go. We're going to see if we, if we're going to see if there's actually going to be anything that can test this nine car in these last few moments of the race. And the 07 going to go to the inside of the 20 again. Battle between the 07 and the 20. The 20 is going to come down. 20 is going to cut down the 7. The 07 almost slipped back a little bit. Now Surge is going to try and pull away. Brad May to the inside of the 11. Brad May in the 9 is going to battle uh, for that 4th spot with Dave Rogers. Side by side for those two cars they come off of 4. Battle for the 4th spot. The 9 and the 11. And the 11 is just going to pull up into 4. No! Brad May, really good battle for that four spot going on there. And this battle is going to... Now that nine car, Chiquette, oh, he's pulling away again. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Brad May cleared him. Now he's going to go side by side with Scope in the 07. He's going to go side by side with Scope in the 07. He's going to get third away. Wonderful driving by Brad May in the nine as Dave Rogers is going to start battling with the 07 of Schofield now for that fourth spot. Now we're going to have some late race racing going on. As it's going to be 10 to go in a few laps. I think it's 15 to go now as Rogers pulled into the four spot. Brad May is going to start reeling it in on Sergi here. Brad May won second. He's going to start slowly reeling that in on that Sergi car. Oh, it's something about height. Anyway, he's going to work on that 20 car. So those are three guys who are going to keep an eye on here. And here goes Brian May to the inside of the 20. May goes to the inside of the 20 as they go down the back straightaway. Side by side, the 9 and the 20 as they come off of 4. Dave Rogers is right there. Brad May gets a little bit woogity. They're going to go back through 1 and 2. May's going to try... He's going to keep trying. Side by side, they go down the back straightaway. 
really great battle for second. And here comes Dave Rogers trying to get involved here. Sergi still has second at the strike. Ten laps remaining. Oh, this is going to be quite the battle shaping up here. Serge is going to pull in a second. And here comes Rogers going to the inside. Dave Rogers is going to battle for the third spot with Brad May. David Rogers to the inside. Rogers is going to have third at the strike. And they're still going to run side by side back through one and two, trying to get that third spot. Rogers is going to poke his nose ahead a little bit, but Brad May is still going to rain persistent on the outside. Back off through four. Rogers going to edge out May at this line for that spot. And we're going to go again back to one and two. And May has the advantage top side because Rogers got a little bit loose, but he's going to try and stay as close as he can here. And May's going to have the position at the line. Still side by side. May's going to try and get a little bit of an advantage there off of two. He gets the advantage off two. He pulls into third. But Rogers is going to try and stay as close as he can. He's not going to give up. And he's going to tuck right back in behind the nine. Second, third, fourth. Those drivers were going at it for a little bit. They wanted that late race jostle. Five laps to go now in this race. For those of you keeping track at home. May goes back. Rogers goes back to the inside of May. May and Rogers are resuming that battle for the third spot, and that's not going to last that long. And no, it's still going to keep going on. Here comes Rogers, going to try and stay to the inside of the nine. Ooh, close, close, close. 11 car has the edge. Rogers has the edge of the line. We're going to see what's going to happen. They're still side by side. They're still door to door, wheel to wheel. Rogers gets loose. And May's going to get the third spot. Rogers going to pull back into the fourth. Here they come to the strike. That was quite the battle there between uh, May and Rogers. Here comes May trying to go down to the inside of Sergi. Brad May is going to go to the inside of Anthony Sergi. No, not going to happen. Brad May is going to butt Sergi. There's going to be some bumping and racing going on here in the closing stages of this event. Rogers going to look to the inside of Brad May again. He wants to get the third spot. Here they come. David Rogers goes to the inside of Brad May as Jeff Jaquette comes to take the white flag. Brad May goes high. Rogers gets third. White flag waving in the air. This is going to be the last lap of this race. Last chance for any position advancement. But nobody is going to have anything for the red number nine of Jeff Jaquette as he takes the checker flag and wins the Bright House Networks Challenge Series 100 at the new Smyrna Speedway.
Aaron's down there in victory lane with the trophy. She's going to grab a couple of words with him here. Aaron, it's all yours. I'm down here in the Hampton Inn, Victory Lane, with Jeff Choquette. Jeff, you drove 100 laps, led every every lap, and you brought it home to Victory Lane with no scratches on it. It has to feel great to come here and run so awesome and be so dominant here. Can you tell us a little bit about what this one means to you and what got you here tonight? Yeah, this is my uh, second ride this in a ride with the, the Jet family and Jet Concrete. Uh, we were in Pensacola last night, and the guys have basically worked on no sleep, so uh, to come out here and have a car this good uh, against the locals that run here all the time uh, really means a lot to us. Uh, it's like I said, the second time in the car. Uh, this car's been here a few times this year, but uh, this is kind of a new deal that we're working on with the chassis and stuff. Can't thank all the guys enough that, that uh, like I said, bust their butt really hard on this whole deal and, and uh, make me the lucky man that can hold the steering wheel. Congratulations. I know this one means a lot to you. Let's hear it one more time for our future winner, Jeff Turquette. 